Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to a kitchen organisation video. This is something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while because honestly my kitchen cupboards are quite messy. So what I'm going to do today is pull everything out, give it a really good sort out, a good declutter. I've got loads of good ideas for organisation and storage solutions. So I hope that you find this video useful and motivational. If you do then please give it a thumbs up and if you are new then hi my name is Michelle and I do make quite a lot of cleaning and organisational videos so I'd love for you to subscribe. The first cupboard that I'm going to tackle is the cereal and snacks cupboard because this has just got yeah out of control recently so it definitely needs a good sort out in there. Right, should we get the cereals out first then? Yeah. yeah, let's get everything out and then we can give it a really good tidy. Once a cupboard is empty, I use my mini dustpan and brush to get rid of any crumbs and then give it a clean with method. Anything that I do use today I will link down below where I can. If you've watched my videos before then you know how much I love my label maker. This is actually on offer on Amazon at the moment so we'll include the link in the description box. Um, I have quite a few of these storage containers that I picked up from Asda. They're great as they're nice and big and also airtight. So Tamsin, my eldest, is dairy and gluten free so I'm going to do a box just for her cereals and then sort the rest of the cereals, decanting them into these boxes. The snack area is just ridiculous and in no real order at the moment so I took everything out, uh, went through it all, got, got rid of anything that was out of date and sorted it into piles of adult snacks, Tamsin snacks, Arabella snacks and crisps. Um, these boxes that I have to put the snacks in I actually got from Ikea. They do sell them in most places and are ideal for storing and keeping snacks separate. Things are going right, you seem to have the time, but when it's hard you just grow cold up. We should be good but we keep lighting fires, the words you be cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good but we keep lighting fires, the words you be cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Whilst I'm sorting out and cleaning the cupboards, I'm also cleaning the inside of the cupboard's doors as it's actually surprising how dirty and dusty they are. Next up is the, I don't really know what this is, miscellaneous um, tin cupboard, which again used to be quite organised but has got quite an organised 
more recently. So I just need to have a good sort out in here. This corner cupboard really annoys me as it's so hard to get to things and I am debating getting one of those pull out corner cupboards so if anyone has one and it's good then please do let me know. I did have a slow cooker in here um, but the lid smashed and it's years old so decided I'm going to get rid of it and get a new one. Um, so let me know if you've got any slow cooker recommendations as now it's autumn then I'm sure it will be very well used. I got this Lazy Susan from B&M and it's ideal for the backs of cupboards and easily get into items. I think it was only around £3. I searched everywhere to find something better to organise tins and this is amazing. I got it from Amazon, again I will link it down below as I haven't found it anywhere else and it's so handy for keeping tins organised and easily accessible as everything is separate in there too. I do also need to do the under sink. I'll show you what it looks like because that has also got a bit messy. I did organise it a little while ago but yeah I just need to go through and sort out my cleaning products and things again and just organise that. But to be honest I'm not going to do that today. Today I'm going to focus more on the cupboards. Um, but yeah, there'll probably be a video coming on organising your kitchen sink and I do need to give it a really deep clean, like do all the pipes and stuff. So if that's something you're interested in, then let me know in the comments below. So next up, I'm going to tackle these two cupboards. So in this side, this isn't too bad actually. This is just where I keep bowls, um, plates and things like that. So that honestly will take me a couple of minutes because I've only really got to give a good clean in there and then this side needs a big sort out because I have like all my medication kind of first aid type stuff there um this was all glasses so this was all neat with glasses and it's just got really disorganized and then at the top with like bottles and shakers so yeah need to sort these out next Over the last few months we've smashed various glasses and are now down to only three pint glasses so I think a trip to Ikea is needed to get everything the same and they're really reasonably priced in there too.
My medication box has got so disorganised, so I'm going to try and sort it into some kind of order so it's easier to use. I do actually put my daily medication and vitamins into a pill box as I find that saves so much time in the morning. So these ones aren't perfect but I feel like they're a lot more organised than they were before and they're definitely clean now. So working my way around the kitchen I'm going to stay up high and next up I've got the spices cupboard um, which is, it kind of looks organised um, to a certain extent but it's actually not because I had originally when I did this put letters on of the spices and yeah they've got a bit muddled up when you're in a rush and you'll just end up putting them in so yeah need to sort these out and see if I've got any duplicate spices and then the next cupboard it definitely needs a big sort out so this is like spreads tea coffee and then coffee cups so definitely needs some organizing I started by emptying all of the spices out of the boxes. Again, these are the ones from Ikea, but you can get them from loads of places. And then the boxes needed washing as all these spices had spilled inside. I feel like, honestly, I have so many herbs and spices when they are lying out like this. Um, but honestly, I use them all the time as I love cooking, especially cooking from scratch. So I sorted them into alphabetical order so I could put them back into the boxes as with so many spices it's essential that they are easy to find when I'm cooking. With the spice cupboard done, I moved on to the spreads, coffee and cups cupboard. I got these new tea, coffee and sugar storage canisters in B&M recently. So swapping out the hot chocolate on the side and putting these out instead. So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love You should know some things will hurt Get enough. 
So next is the cupboard up here and actually looking at it this one isn't too bad I did this one not that long ago um, so I'm probably going to leave that one to be honest um, but then I need to get on to this one which is filthy because it's under the oven I find that it gets really dirty in here um, and this one definitely needs a little bit more better organization in here i've actually just had a couple of deliveries from amazon that will help me hopefully sort the cupboard out so the first one oh god i can't get it out um is this so i thought this would be handy to either stack the bakeware on or lids things like not lids um like the saucepans and things um and then the next one that i got oh i did order something else but that hasn't came actually i ordered some um Saucepan lids. And then the next one is this under cupboard shelf storage. So I thought this would be really good to put like your foil and everything in because it just gets so messy. And often that space um, just under a shelf is not used. So yeah, I thought this might be quite handy. So I'd also ordered these from Amazon. Um, these are the wall mountable lids, um, lid holders that I was going to put on the cupboards, but I've just had a message to say they're not coming um, until next week. So I'd have to add the lids on after, which is a bit annoying because I was hoping that would be done. But these look quite good because you can just basically put them, um, they stick onto the back of the cupboard and then you just slide the lids in. So much better than having all of the lids just in the cupboard. So this is why I wanted the lid storage on here because you can just see on here how much room the lids take up. Um, maybe I'll try something different for the lids. Maybe I'll use a racking instead of the lids actually. <laughs> I used one of the rackings that I got from Amazon to put the dishes in and the lids and it actually worked quite well. I'm quite impressed with these. Oh, I wonder if there's a place where the sun won't go away. Wide awake with an open mind Looking out from a mountain I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out but I don't It sounds silly but I honestly think that this under shelf storage is amazing. The foil and cling film is always just thrown in the drawer so I feel like this will be super useful and such a good use of what would otherwise be unused space. So the next cupboard that I'm going to do is my pasta kind of rice cupboard. Um, so this isn't too bad. I did sort this out a while ago, um, but I just need to have a little bit of a play around in here and see some of the pastas that I do use. And yeah, just have a bit of a sort out in here.
These containers are the same ones that I put my cereal in that I got from Asda. These just needed a bit of organising as I had two containers full of fusilli for example, two of our Boreo rice for some reason and also needed a container for Tamsin's gluten free pasta. It's really annoying but my label maker has just became slightly misaligned so it won't work properly. So for now I'm just going to cut out the labels and then we'll label later when I have time to realign it. So I think that's going to be the last cupboard that I do. I still have all of the drawers to do, which is going to take me forever. Um, and then I've still got a couple more cupboards that I want to tackle too. But in all honesty, it's gone six o'clock and this has taken me so much longer than I thought it was going to take. So I need to get dinner and everything ready. So there'll probably be a part two to see how I organise the rest of the kitchen. And then obviously I still also need to do the kitchen sink as well. So yeah, it's always surprising how long these jobs take, but I'm actually really impressed with everything that I've got done so far. It feels already so much more organised. I feel like everything has a place. I've got rid of so much stuff. I can't believe how many things have gone off day and just, yeah, just how much clutter that you get, even though you do this um, every now and then. So I definitely need to keep on top of decluttering the kitchen cupboards. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and it maybe gives you some inspiration to declutter your kitchen and organise your cupboards. Like I said, there'll be a part two, maybe a part three. <laughs> Um, with doing the kitchen sink and the rest of the drawers and the kitchen cupboards as well. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye!